It's a service that relies heavily on donations in order to lift off, rushing to the aid of the injured and the ill across the province. Sturgeon County handed over a check for $32,000 to Stars Air Ambulance following council on February 24th. At a dollar a minute, that's enough for about 547 hours of flight. The county has donated about $250,000 to STARS since 2009. Fire Chief Pat Mahoney says it's just one more tool the county utilizes to help residents get the care that they need. Given the distance from the city, it's important to have the ability to get people to a hospital in, in a quick time. They talk about the golden hour, and if we can get victims to the hospital within that hour, they have a very good chance of survival and STARS gives us that opportunity. For more than 20 years, STARS has offered life-saving transport to critically ill and injured patients. From its inception in 1985 to March of 2014, STARS has flown 525 missions in Sturgeon County. Donations account for 70% of their operating budget. Officials say without the support of local communities like Sturgeon County, their scope would not reach nearly as far. We get about 25% funding from the Alberta government and then the rest we are relying on community donations, personal donations, corporate donations, just general support from Albertans. So the support we receive from Sturgeon County is really crucial to keeping our helicopters in the sky. STARS is in the midst of their biggest annual fundraiser, the STARS Lottery, offering up more than $5.3 million in prizes. The lottery is in its final push with about 90% of the tickets sold. And even if you don't win a prize, your dollar could fund a life-saving mission. It really is amazing, especially for people who live in rural communities that aren't close to a major hospital centre. Um, it's crucial the time that's saved by being able to transport somebody by air rather than by ground. To learn more about how Sturgeon County supports initiatives like STARS, head to sturgeoncounty.ca. For Sturgeon FYI, I'm Allison Sauls.